I'm also a, an ex East coaster. You're from New mm-hmm. Hampshire. You know, the white mountains, you know how cool they are. You also know the Appalachian mountains really well. What is your take on the new England trail running scene in general and, and why East coast running hasn't developed or, you know, organized as thoroughly as, you know, what we have here in the mountain West and on the West coast, like, why are there so few major races? Why isn't there any inclusion in the golden ticket series? What's your take on, on why they've kind of become this, like, I'm not going to say backwater, but something close to that in terms of competition. I kind of wonder if there's, uh, it's a really good question because the mountains, you know, having done the AT three times, like if you had a race in Northern New Hampshire on, let's just hypothetically say the Pemi loop, you probably know the Pemi loop. No. Well, okay. So how hard is that? Right. The train is ridiculous. Um, it's super duper techie, but I think the East coast is more saturated with people. There's less open space. So there's probably more, in terms of like having big races, probably more permitting and private land issues. I think private land more than permitting is probably an issue. Um, Mm. You know, we have more land out here. We can't get big permits, but at the same time, there's just more open space. You know, if you go into central Virginia, um, I mean, I run around central Virginia a lot. and There's a ton of stuff around there that you can have great races. Why Golden Ticket Series races are not... I mean, now there's actually, I was going to say Hellgate is a golden ticket series, but it's not. It's just a qualifier. Um, you know, I, I'm shocked that like Massanutten and Hellgate and, uh, you know, I think Georgia Death Race is no longer on there. Like, I'm surprised. There's a lot of races that could be a part of that series that aren't. Yeah. GDR is a qualifier. Yeah. It's not. It, it should be. I mean, GDR is a great course. You know, it. that it's a great course for. The south, southeastern part of the country, that's a great qualifier. That's a no-brainer in my eyes. 74 miles, it's not 100, but, I mean, Grindstone is a great course. Grindstone, too. There's six qualifiers, great course. Massanutten is is a rocky course. I don't think it's a real hard course, but it's really rocky, which makes the time slower. Um, the Vermont 100 is a lot of dirt roads. I think in New Hampshire, there's hardly anything really – big in new hampshire you know which well, shocks me because of the majesty i mean the white mountains are as special as any in my opinion yeah they're tough too you know yeah. super tough maybe just nobody really wants to make that effort to put it on again i, I think it's a lot of private land crap that goes on it's just too complicated to say okay, they, can, they can get their national forest permit the white mountain forest whatever permit but yeah. they got to go through the johnson farm and then they got to go through this guy's land and all this stuff and that's um my experience in the east coast is that people aren't as uh open to letting people do that now i don't know i mean you know that's just my opinion and i haven't lived there for 30 years but um people seem a little more aggro <laughs> yeah the east coasts uh when i go back there and visit i, I kind of see that normally it's just kind of a normal thing yep um i don't know it's 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 a shame that there aren't bigger races on the east coast and there's plenty of people running you know I, I, w- I was visiting there last summer. I did the uh, hundred mile wilderness and I was just thinking to myself the yeah. whole time, how cool that would be to like have a race starting in Monson, Maine, finishing either at the base of Katahdin or somehow getting up <laughs> on top of that peak. I mean, so many cool r- routes you could configure. Well, and they're so tough too. Like there's so much, some of those like white cap and ball plates and saddle, all that stuff is uh, really hard and it would like demoralize Imagine if, imagine really if like mile running. 80, imagine if like mile 83 of a hundred was like the Mahusik notch or something like that. I mean, uh, just, <laughs> no, <laughs> right. Right. Or just even going over the big loads to, to Sugarloaf and all that stuff in there. That's really just ridiculously hard. Um, that would be rad to have a race. Like that's more like a, it's more like a hiking, jogging shuffle race because it's, it's hard to really run a lot of that stuff. You can't run a lot of it real fast. Yeah. We, you can run it, but you can't run it. You know, five miles an hour would be a fast, would be fast. Yeah. Um, I well, don't know the East Coast doesn't have as much. They should, but it's, you know, Virginia's are really the best. I don't know if you call it a hot spot, but, you know, you've got the area around Lynchburg where Dave Horton is. I mean, there's tons of stuff there that could happen. It's yeah. not somebody wants to, wants to do it. And a lot of West Coast runners, I think, don't realize that the East Coast – trails are just as hard as they are out west they're not as high but they're just as hard there's no yeah. question about it a lot more harder yeah um, they don't travel to the east to run because you know all about california and colorado and stuff like that but i mean i've gone to the east a lot to race and every single race i've run on the east coast has been awesome 
even the little ones, they've been, the courses are good, you know? 